Okay, guys, next we're going to do two-point perspective, okay? The steps are going to be the same. First, we're going to construct the box. Then we're going to draw the faces. Then we're going to fill in the inside lines. And then as we're going, we're going to darken in our object lines in shade, okay? Shade will really be the last step. We'll be filling in the, the object lines as we go. All right, we're going to start with the same object, same horizon line, and one vanishing point. Except for this time, since we're dealing with two-point, we're going to add in our second vanishing point. We're going to throw it over here. So we're going to call this vanishing point one, this vanishing point two. Okay. First thing we want to do is construct the box. This time we're not going to have a face, like a front face of the box where we're looking on flat at it. We're going to have like an edge on the front. So in this case, our total height is going to be one, two, three. So I'm going to start off from this edge right here. All right, so it'll be as if we are looking at this part from the front. Okay, so in order to do that, I need to mark my height, which is three. So I'm going to start right here. We're going to go one, two, three. There's my height. Okay, now I need to do some construction lines. I'm going to start off just with this front face. So there's the height. And now to create the box, I need to take both these points and I need to connect them to each of my vanishing points. So one there and one there. And then one there. And one there. That's going to give me that front edge. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to kind of get a good estimate of what both the width, the width and the depth are, okay? So I can see here it's one, two, three, four wide and two long. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put in some points. I'm gonna say maybe right here is my depth, which is four, and then probably about half of that maybe on this side is right around here for a depth of two, okay? I'm gonna use some construction lines now, the only time that I have parallel lines in this case are when I'm going height. All of my height lines are going to be vertical. Okay? All of my other lines, anytime I have depth, I'm connecting to vanishing point two. And alternately, anytime I have width, I'm connecting to vanishing point one. So I should have no lines that are either horizontal that are horizontal in this case. Okay, so there's my construction box of this shape. Okay, looks maybe a little long in this direction, but that's okay. Um, perspective sketches kind of skew things. Okay, so our next step is going to be to draw the faces. Okay, so when I'm drawing the faces, this is again going to be, it's going to need some estimation because we're using um, perspective. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select some points. I see this is about three out of four of my length. So I'm going to come back to about right here. Okay. And I can see that this part is going to be about half, two thirds of the way up. So I actually can, I can actually count this one. One, two out of my three. Okay. Then I'm going to take these and I'm going to use construction lines for both of them. Whenever I'm going depth, I'm going to two. And whenever I'm going width, I'm going back to one. Okay? And then this guy is going to come vertically because I, he's, he's going to be a height. Okay? And he's going to right here. And I can see that two out of three which is just which is as high as my um, as my little backwards L shape will go here actually starts right here so I can connect that back to vanishing point two all right but first I'm gonna start off I'm, we're getting kind of a lot of construction lines here I'm gonna fill in some object lines so I know this right face right here is just simply this rectangular box here So I filled that in. Okay. Additionally, I know that this is going to be this three by two piece. So I'm going to come back here. And 
and I'm going to fill that in. Okay, now on the top, I have it's a depth of two, and this is going to be a two by one. So, what I need to do here is pick a spot, find my spot that's about halfway across the depth. So, maybe right there. Okay, and then build a construction line back across. Now, the reason that I'm going to the front to do this instead of somewhere back here is that this gives me a line to which I can use for reference. And additionally, it's a little bit easier to see, to gauge what halfway is here than kind of in between these two spots. But I can see now this box right here is what I have created and needs to be filled in with object lines. So that's what we're going to do there. Okay. So now we filled in our faces from the box. Okay. Okay. So now we're to step three, draw the insides. Okay. And this is where things start to get tricky. All right. So I see I need to do some of these inside lines right here. Okay. But they're going to be kind of hard to see where they go. All right. So for one, I need to get a I need to get a construction line that's going to send me to the back that's going to bisect this plane right here so this lower top part okay because I want to have halfway across for where this vertical line will go so I'm going to come about halfway across here and I'm going to do a construction line back there okay that's going to tell me where this vertical line will go to in order to get the top of that section Okay, and I'm then going to take that same point and take it back to vanishing point two. Okay, and I'm going to take this front edge right here, or this front corner, and I'm going to take it back to vanishing point one. Okay, and then finally I'm going to drop this line down to the top part of the box. Now I'm getting really messy, so I need to definitely fill in some object lines. So I'm going to start right here, come across to right here, fill that in, and I'm going to come back here. Okay, I notice these lines should meet up correctly if I've done this right. Okay, and then I've actually got the last one's pretty simple. I just come from the back of this, and it actually is going to come straight down almost to meet where. Um, where this part, where this section will be. So it's almost like a straight vertical line that comes down. So it's just going to kind of overlap that. Okay. And then I'm going to come back along this line that I did. And it's going to meet right there to intersect with this portion right there. Okay. So. We can definitely see how the two point skews it a little bit. It looks like it's kind of squished the height of this part right here some, but that gives us um, that gives us a nice two point perspective where all we have left to do would be to shade it in. Okay, so maybe we do this face in a light gray. will help clean up some of these object lines okay and then we're gonna do this right face in a darker gray okay and that's how we do our two-point perspective 